Hi, it's me again. Today, I'm going to share with you my all-time favorite sticky rice dumpling. This is a must-try recipe. You don't need to go to any Yamcha restaurants. Anyone can do this at the comfort of your own kitchen. My recipe has the exact same taste as the ones usually bought from any Asian restaurants. So let's get started. So we will be needing dried lotus leaves or bamboo leaves. And because these are dried leaves, they will need to be rehydrated for 10 to 12 hours. And just to save time and to make it easier for everyone, you can rehydrate this the night before you make your sticky rice dumpling. So here you go, after 10 hours, we will need to drain the water and pat dry with a clean cloth. And our next step is to make the master sauce. So in a bowl, we will need to add 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of dark soy sauce, 1 teaspoon of brown pepper, just a hint of 5 spice powder, which is optional, and add 1 teaspoon of sesame oil. And then we will need to mix well until combined. Our next step is to cook the glutinous rice. So we will need 3 cups of glutinous rice. We will need to wash thoroughly. And then add 2 cups of water. And then in there, we will need to add 3 tablespoons of mustard sauce that we made earlier. You can cook the rice using a rice cooker or a pot until cooked. Make sure that you don't burn the bottom of the sticker rice. Next is we will need to rehydrate all our dried ingredients, which are the dried shrimps, shiitake mushrooms, and our Chinese sausage or lap cheong in hot water for 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, we will need to prepare 2 tablespoons of minced garlic. Also slice 1 chicken thigh in cubes. As soon as the sticky rice is cooked, we will start stir-frying the chicken and other ingredients. So in a pan, we will need to add 2 tablespoons of olive oil, add the garlic. When the garlic turns light brown, we will need to add our chicken. And then continue stir-frying the chicken and garlic until cooked. And when cooked, then we will need to add the rest of our master sauce. When the chicken is already well cooked, we will need to set aside few pieces for our toppings later. While there is still half of the chicken left in the pan, we will need to add our rehydrated shrimps and then mix well. And then we will also add the rest of our ingredients, which are the lapchongs or Chinese sausages and the shiitake mushrooms. And then just keep on mixing it or stir frying it until well combined and cooked. So this will not take too long, maybe around just two to three minutes. And now it's time to add our cooked sticky rice.
Last one to add is the spring onions. And after adding the spring onions, we will now switch off the flame. And then our next step is we will need to wrap our sticky rice dumpling using our prepared bamboo leaves. So wrapping the sticky rice dumpling is completely optional. So you can serve it straight away if you want. You can eat it straight away. So this is completely optional. But because we are doing the traditional way, I will teach you how the other Asian countries do it by wrapping, steaming, and serving their sticky rice dumpling. We Filipinos don't usually wrap our suman using bamboo leaves or lotus leaves. But yes, we can try using banana leaves for this just like the way we cook our suman. Okay, next we will need to steam our sticky rice dumplings for 30 minutes. There you go! So here's our sticky rice dumpling. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and thank you for watching!